I don't know why buying fabric can't be a full-time job. <laughs> It's Philly from Create and Curate here. How are you all doing this week? Um, today I have got a fabric haul for you from Poundometer Fabrics. Cannot wait, I love new fabric. And I've also got some new patterns to share with you as well. So basically what I did was I took the patterns, had a look at them and then bought the fabric to go with it. So we are project ready, let's go. So this is the first pattern. It is the Simplicity S89. Eight one. I don't know why I can't read today. Apparently it's not a reading day. Um, so I'm going to make it in C, I think, because I really like the sleeves on it. I think that's really pretty. And I have bought with it this coral crepe. So it's five metres for five pound. Five metres for five pound. That's pound meter. Maths I can do today. And it's just so pretty. And I think that with the butterfly sleeves is going to look really really nice all five meters of it I'm not completely au fait with working with crepe so we're going to see how that goes um, and whether it wanders off but on the whole for a pound a meter for the coral luxury crepe I'm all in oh I've just noticed a mark on it can you see I don't know if the camera's picking that up but that's not cool. Hopefully it'll wash out. So my second pattern, slightly different. This is the new look K6650. And I think I will probably do B because I like the detail around the waist. Although that wouldn't look too bad. It says that it's just for knits, but I've actually bought some more crepe to go with it. This stuff, it's three for five, no, five pound for three metres. And it's actually a bit sturdier and more structured than the last crepe. So I think, oh gosh, it does not look good <laughs> on the camera, does it? It might look, it will look great when it's over me, but on the camera it seems to do something very funny with my face. Um, so I'm going to try and make this one up with it to see how it'll look in a non, I might need to put a zip in the back just to, because obviously this is supposed to be stretchy, but um, I thought it was really nice to try and give it a go with a different fabric. And then if it doesn't work out, I'm pretty sure I've got some jersey knit in the cupboard anyway. My next pattern is the Simplicity K9139. I managed to read that back to front. Um, I will definitely make it in B because this collar I'm not a fan of, this smokiness, not a huge fan of, but with the belt I really like it and the fabric that I've bought to go with this one, this is the most expensive fabric from my haul but it's still only £3.95 a metre so it is an absolute bargain and it is a rust coloured corduroy can you see how fine that needle cord is not lovely the rust is just a gorgeous colour and I'm not gonna lie so I, I really like the pattern but this screams dungarees to me does it not you you all know I love a dungaree the baggier the better so it's gonna be tough the plan is to do it with the simplicity dress, but if they end up becoming dungarees, don't hate me guys, because we all love them, right? Just me? For my next pattern, we've got the Simplicity K9041, which I am going to be doing in B. How gorgeous is that? I'm, although C is quite, oh, A is quite nice as well. I like the sleeves. That's more of a winter one, isn't it? This you could wear in the summer. I'm not a no sleeves girl. Problem is I've got a million moles and freckles and everything else. I need as much coverage as I can get. Otherwise, you know, you know. So 
I am all much of a fan for the butterfly sleeves and the tie waist as well. It's going to be really, really nice. And you can see it on the back. That's the B there. So that'd be really cute. So that's the Simplicity K9041. And for that, actually, I've gone with a fabric that's quite similar to the picture, which is a crepe Georgette chiffon -y fabric. This one is called Night Garden. Happy Daisy. And it was $2.99 a metre. So I've bought three metres of that. And I think that's going to look really, really nice, especially with the floaty sleeves who doesn't love a butterfly crepey sleeve right that look cute and my final pattern is the simplicity k9010 oh, i am better at reading them backwards than i am reading them forwards is anyone else absolutely exhausted at the moment all i hear from all my friends and everyone is that they're just really really tired i think we've just we're done with covid now we're fed up we would like to go out and get stuff done because staying inside is making us exhausted um this pattern i am gonna go for c i think but i would make b in the winter strangely enough so on c on the back this is the back view of it and my nine-year-old said, mum, that looks like the sort of thing that you would wear the wrong way round. So actually, <laughs> I'm going to give it a go and I'm going to see if, so I can make it as that and then I'm going to try it on backwards. And even if I just have a little like um, hook and loop just on there, just to like keep my things closed, then I think that would look quite nice back to front. So versatility winner um for that i have chosen again a sort of a crepe georgette looking oh it's a bit see-through isn't it can you see how see-through it is mm, it's a little bit see-through um so that's a drapage there i might have to line it underneath maybe just enough um this is the ditzy floral one and again 2.99 a meter so really good value so for three meters i've got a dress and the patterns by the way came as an ebay bundle so i got five patterns oh no it came with a jumpsuit one as well for the kids so that was six patterns for a tenner i think and then with the fabric as well we are like we are bargain sewing right now this is fantastic right so yeah those are all my fabrics what do you think Okay, I'm going to show you one more project that I want to do over the summer because I'm not going to get all of this done in July. That's madness. Um, so these are my over the summer projects. I've got one more that I want to show you, which is the Tilly and the Button Seren Dress. Um, actually, strange that um, I got this pattern at an auction house. They were selling a big basket of patterns that um, I think a haberdashery had gone bust or something and they had about 50, oh it must have been even more, maybe 70 patterns in this big basket and we got them for 20 quid. It was amazing and it had loads of Tilly and the Button ones in and a couple of closet core ones in there. It's fantastic. Um, so like I said, this is the Seren. I'm going to make it as that view, which is, which one is that? Oh, but it's got a little tie one there as well. That's quite cute. So that one, or maybe this one, depending on the length. I'd probably prefer it longer. And I'm going to see if I've got enough fabric to make it out of this. So this is, do um, you remember the bed sheet that I thrifted from one of my other videos? This, that. So it's only two and a bit metres of fabric. And this says that it needs two and a half. So I'm going to try my best to see if I can get it out of there. I've also still got the pillowcases, which I can use for this. I've just been using them for the dog's beds. So I might, if I have to reclaim those back, I might whiff of dog a bit. Oh, I mean, I mean, I might even wash them before I cut them open and sew into them, maybe. But um, otherwise, hopefully I'll have enough fabric to do this one as well. So that 
is my July fabric haul. What do you reckon? So, quick disclaimer though, I do need to say that Poundometer really, really, really let themselves down a few months ago with me. I ordered something from them. I think you'll find it in the April fabric haul. So I bought a load of fabrics from Pound Fabrics and Poundometer. Pound Fabrics came out really good and they were fantastic. Uh, Poundometer, however, just, they kept cancelling, the, kept amending the order and then they kept delaying it and then they kept cancelling and eventually I cancelled it because I was like, it's been like six weeks and I haven't got my fabric this is a joke and I was like I'm never using them again never using them again but then I saw an advert for their sale and it was like a flash you can get an extra 20% off if you use that code and I thought oh do you know what we'll give it one more try because I really really like their variety of stuff they've just got so much stuff and it's just such good value so I decided to go for them again and give it a go um I forgot to use the code, so I didn't get the 20% off, don't tell hubby, because I was like, I need this fabric, and it's 20% off, so I've got to do it, and then forgot to use the 20% off code, but to be honest, they're really, really good value anyway, as you saw with like, like the crepe that's a pound a metre, it's just a no-brainer, isn't it? So anyway, I decided to use um, Poundometer once more and their um, postage was, so for all of that fabric, the postage was a fiver and it was here within four days. It was fantastic. They were literally like that. I couldn't have got it quicker if I'd have ordered it off Amazon. It was just brilliant. It was really, really good and everything is really good quality and I would say, it's better quality than pound fabrics, apart from that little mark that we saw on the coral crepe. But like I said, I'm hoping that will wash out and that, I mean, that could have happened whilst it's been sat on the dining table or anything, who knows. But pound meter, you are back up in my estimations and you can have all of my money again. Yay! So as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm really, really lucky to have you here. So thank you very much. If you could possibly like and subscribe, that would be amazing. I post every Friday, sometimes Thursday evenings. Um, so you will see me here every single week. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! <laughs>